Oh, how you doing? My name is Terrell Wilkes, fourth year sprinter from New Haven, Connecticut. On 100, 200, four by one. Um, yeah. A fact about me that most people wouldn't know, I'd say is I like to cook on the grill. I have a good time doing it. Cause I like to eat. Probably can't tell what I like to eat. <clears throat> the best part of my race would have to be my finish. Not too good at the start, but once I get going, I think I run with the best of them. Um, a lot of things went into my decision to come to Florida four long years ago. But the main thing, honestly, was when I came on my visit, um, I came to the track and it was a hot day. Um, it was hot, real hot. And I seen the palm trees, and in Connecticut, we don't have palm trees. So I was, you know, I was taken back by the palm trees. And then Coach Holloway and, um, you know, the staff, you know, they accepted me for who I am, flaws and all. So, you know, made me, made me say, okay, I can be a getter. My favorite track athlete right now will have to be, I think I got two, for the two several reasons. First, have to be um, Usain Bolt, because of the obvious, he's the best, hottest thing on the track right now. But personality-wise, I have to go with X-Man. He's a friend of mine, and I think he's very talented, um, and I enjoy watching him run too. My proudest moment since becoming a Gator um, and running track here will have to be um, not last year, the year before when we won the national title in 4x1. It wasn't expected. We had a new leg on the relay. People didn't think we could do it. Um, we had the four of us, me, Jeremy, Calvin, and um, Dennis got together before the race and we, you know, we, we talked and we knew that, you know, if we did what we were supposed to do, that we would get the job done. Coach Holloway gave us a little talk. But it was the moment when Jeremy crossed the finish line. I know they got the video, he got his hands up like this. It was like, you know, we're the best team in the nation right now. Um, and we proved, you know, everybody who said we couldn't wrong. And it just, I'm, it was an overwhelming experience for me because I never thought I'd be able to get, you know, like a, a title in college. And, you know, to have actually did it, you know, it felt real good. Personally, my biggest accomplishment as a Gator, um, well, besides the two national titles um, on the relay, um, I got third my sophomore year in the 60. Um, and I had set the school record at the time. Um, that I had a string of races back to back where I like broke the school record a couple times in a row. Um, those might that might have been you know my proudest time here. I had a, I had a couple other times where it was you know it was really exciting for me. But the 659 stood out to me the most because I um I, I never really was looked at as a 60 meter runner because the best part of my race, like I said, is the last part. So you know um, proving a couple people wrong, proving some people wrong, running 659, setting the school record, which is going now, but. Um, you know, being second on the Florida all the time is not not bad company. So, if I could do another event, I got a few events I would do. But the first one I do, I do the steeplechase. Then I do the triple jump, and then um, I probably run the 800. I think I'm good in all those events, and I think I'm real good in the pole vault. But that's just between me, me and myself. You know, the thing that motivates me the most through the off season and during the season is my mom and my sister. Um, just being, just making them happy, you know, competing at a high this level is enough for them, you know. Other people, you know, they go for, I guess, the post collegiate things and even, like, gaining a lot of accolades in, you know, in college. I'm just happy to know that, you know, they happy that I'm doing something positive with my life. Because could've went down the wrong, different path, you know, but I'm on a straight and narrow now. And, um, you know, making them happy. That's what, that's what keeps me going every day when I'm in the weight room, when I'm on the track. Um, and when I'm at a track meet, you know, before I run, I think on my mom, my sister, and, um, and my, my aunt who passed away. I think my then three, you know, and that's what gets me through and keeps me you know, trying to grind it out. The last thing I think of before I run the race, um, or before I set my head and get set, um, I think about my aunt. And I say something to her every time right before I run. And then get my head set. I think what I'm gonna do when I hear the gun go off. But most of I do. I think of you know, like I said, my mom, my sister, and my I say something to them three, and then that normally gets me into my my peace state, and I'm ready to go. I wouldn't say rivals. Well, I do have a rival. We go to South Carolina, Antonio Sells. But it's not really a rival. It's like we're, we're friends outside the sport. So you know, when I see him at a track meet, he see me. You know. 
I mean, we, you know, it's, it's a challenge. You know, it's a lot of people I see, we see on the regular at meets, and we all done, I guess we develop, I guess, a sort of a bond. So, you know, I know what he can do, you know, what I, what I can do. It's different schools. Um, you know, we compete against each other. No particular person I can point out and say is my rival. I like to win. I want to win, so I guess I make everybody my rival because I want to be first. I want to beat everybody. Um, me personally, when I my time is done at the end of this year with the track team, um, I just want to be remembered as somebody who you know came every day, worked hard, did my job, was a great team um, team leader, um, you know, positive influence in people's lives. Um, I don't know, I just want to be remembered for positive things. If there's anything negative, I guess I take those in stride too. But mostly just for positive things, just to know that I helped, you know, to turn the program around. When I came, it was in one direction. And now I think we headed to a real good direction. And when I'm done, I'm sure the team will, you know, keep up with I kind of helped start. I just want to remember, you know, Terrell, I think Terrell, like, yeah, he was a good guy. He was a real nice guy. He was humble. The best part about being a Florida Gator, you know, besides facilities, the equipment, um, everything that we have access to, I have to say it's just I think the atmosphere, just being in Gainesville, being, you know, every day is it's a great day. Like I said, it's great to be a Florida Gator. It's nothing one thing in particular that doesn't sum it up. I think it's like it's something you gotta experience for yourself. I realize not a lot of people are fortunate enough to experience it, so I soak it all in every day, you know, and I don't know, it's something that I, you know, I've been enjoying doing, I'm gonna miss when I'm done, and uh, I don't know, it was great to be a Florida Gator.